Okay, so this one says Claire's purchased an eight year combo bond with this amount semi annually. The bond has a face value of 3000 redemption 28. The purchase price assumes that it will be called fourth year of 2900. And we have the bond is okay, so we'll calculate on it. Okay, so for this problem, it says that, well, 10% coupon rate semi annual. So it will be 5% coupon rate on top of a face value of 3,000 A, right? Uh, then, um, then semi-annually the bond has 3,000. Okay, the purchase price assumes the bond is called at the end of the fourth year, right? Um, and provides an annual effective yield of 10%. So what does that mean? That means that, well, at the four years, so it would be four semi-annually, eight to the, uh, uh, to the annual effective yield of 10%. Well, we would have to convert it to semi-annual since that there are semi-annual payments. So 1.10, one plus j squared. So we're going to do uh, 1.10 to the 1 over 2. And I'm going to minus 1. And now we're going to get 4.88%. Then it says that uh, the purchase price assumes the bond is going to be called at the end of the fourth year, so we're going to make it be called at 2900 That could be today. So now we want to calculate what this is. So 3000 times 0.05 is going to be 150. So we have 150 as the payment, 8 as the years for 20. Twenty nine hundred at the future value to the present value, and get uh two nine five five point zero eight. Now it says immediately after the first coupon is received, the bond is called for two thousand nine sixty. And Claire's annual effective rate high tax on it. Okay, so it starts with purchase in eight year with ten percent payable. The bond. Okay. So now. Even though Claire purchases this bond with these types of credentials, the purchase price still assumes that the bond will be this and that. That's what we sell for here. So now the actual purchase price of the bond would be 2955.08. Now, based upon how much this bond is worth, it says immediately after the first coupon is received, the bond is called for 2960. Okay. So that would mean that we'd have to set this purchase price of this bond in alignment of what they're saying about the first coupon payment, right? So they're saying immediately after the first coupon payment received. So there's, that means that there's only one coupon payment, um, one coupon payment and the bond is called for 2960. And they're saying that Claire's annual effective yield rate of I on this type of scenario is I. Um, but the coupon rate is semi-annual, which means there are semi-annual things that are happening here. So um, what's gonna happen is that we want to first set this as J, right? So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do 2955.08 as the present value, 150 as the payment, one as the number of payments, because only first coupon, first coupon payments have occurred. Uh, 2960 as the future value, we're going to compute interest rate as um, 5.24, right? 
So once we get 5.24 as the interest rate, it's going to be a semi-annual interest rate, right? So we're going to have to convert it to an annual. Okay? So, right, so let's find I. So we'll do uh, 1.0524 squared uh, minus 1. And then I'm going to get uh, 0.107545, which is translated to 10.75%. So out of all answers, my answer would be closest to C. Okay. 